Yammers! We're back, baby. Yeepaw! Yip pee! Yip pee! Yeehaw! Ha ye! Yee pee! Pee pee! Pee pee! Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> I'm glad to see y'all have found the new droppy emotes. Yeah. That we did I, those that today. We uploaded just today. You'll be happy to know too, for those of you who are not subscribed to Drawfee, that the yip, the p, and the ye and the ha are free emotes. Whoa. So if you just follow Drawfee, you can have access to those four for free. I felt it was important that everyone be able to use those. I'm a big fan of someone who just came in with a first time chat that says, how's the little producer doing? The little producer. Who's the little producer? Is it this Do one? Do you mean Olive? She's doing good. She's okay. She's in the lab. This or time we uh, we had to take Joy to the vet. Yeah. Recently, because she she keeps having a issue with her paw where it's was bleeding. Paw paw. She kept like licking it a bunch and then it was bleeding. Yeah, she has a little cut. So we took her to the vet and the vet said gave us some ointments and things, antibiotics. Said yep. she might also have a UTI. Yep. So, we got her on meds now. These cats, they can't keep it together. Olive's doing well. Yeah, for once. Also, we had Mocha this weekend. I saw people asking how that was. Everyone that we met was an actual delight. So yeah, we you. had an awesome time. We were so freaking tired. I'm glad we didn't stream. My favorite side story or my favorite little moment that happened was that Mocha side story we had um we had a number of people as we always do who are there as representatives for siblings right either they go to school in new york and their siblings aren't in new york so they have the opportunity to go blah 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 you know or like a parent is there uh we had one person who is lovely who might be in chat who came with their mother uh from south carolina they were so sweet they were both so excited, uh, really just uh, actual delights. But so for this mocha, we were not allowed to do drawing commissions, basically. Like we usually have like these little sketch cards and people can come up and request a drawing. We can't do that anymore because the lines are too long, right? So we preempted by drawing just whatever was on our minds and we put them on the table so people can take one. Jacob's go-to was the Jacob horse. And one of them, <laughs> towards the end, it was like Sunday, midday, Jacob drew the nubbiest little horse that said, I done shitted. Yeah, it was an evolution. Yeah. I would draw a, a nubby Jacob horse that was doing like a confident step. Yeah. Like he's walking at you and he looks really proud. And then eventually I started adding him thinking I shitted. And then... I did that for a while until someone who came to the table was like, took an eye shitted one and I was in the midst of drawing another eye shitted one. Mm -hmm. And they were like, well, now mine doesn't feel special. And I was like, okay, I won't do any more eye shitted ones. So instead I did one that said, I done shitted. <laughs> so Jacob drew one that was, I done shitted. And he looked so proud and no one was taking it. And there was like, <laughs> a tiny toddler that came over to the table and I like flipped it over because I didn't want her to see the word shitted. Not even spelled right. It's spelled with all D's. And Jacob was like, she can't even read. And I was like, that's fair. But also I just don't want her to see it. So it, it was, and then I flipped it back over once she left. But there was um, an older man. He was a, a, a dad of a kid who's in college, I think, who uh, held up his phone and it had a message from his daughter that was really sweet. She's like a big fan of Drawfee, you know, a really sweet, long message. And he like clearly didn't know what Drawfee was. But, you know, it was like the end of the day on the Sunday, the last day of the con. And he's looking at all the drawings and he's like this older, this older gentleman who's just clearly there to, you know, relay a message from his daughter. And he he looks at Jacob's I done shitted, gives one chuckle touches it looks at us we all nod he picks it up and he walks away <laughs> he had a little smile on his face as he took my i done shitted horse and he walked away with it he looked he very pleased basically nothing the whole convention the whole time he was at our table he just like showed us his phone <laughs> he 
looked at it, I took shit and walked away. I was really happy for him. Oh, it was really funny. I really liked that man. Yeah, lots of delightful people. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nathan, for the raid, by the way. Thank you, Nathan. It was a delightful convention, as always. People were, were so sweet. And there's, like, too many people to, to name or... I can't name them because I don't know most people's names, but... I can name some of the ones. We met some Secret Sleepover people. There's actually oh, a right. good number who were like, we're Secret Sleepover fans first and foremost. That's right. They were like, I found out about Drawfee through Secret Sleepover as well. The only ones I remember let's, of, of the Twitch names we met, we, we mm -hmm. saw Kate Dice. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And also the, their partner or the person they were with who corrected me on how to say their name. I know it was Bo something. That's right, yes. B-E-A-U, and I already forgot the second half. When I see it again, I'll know it. Yeah. And I'll say it correctly this time. And then there's a couple we see basically of Remoka who are always just so sweet. NY Cowgirl Emmy yes. was there. Um, this couple, if you're in the chat, if one of you is in the chat, please let me know. Um, I keep meaning to ask you to remind me of what your usernames are, and I just forget. But every year we see you, and you're just so nice. So I would like to retain this. I'm bad at names, but I'm good at faces. Weirdly. Even though I can't draw them. I want to show, too, we got um, some laws without pockets that I was there. Gave you the crochet egg. We do have it. Oh, my God. The cats have been going bananas over it. The cats have it. been loving it. Let me see if I can find it. They've been knocking all over the apartment. We'll just see them like a cryptid. We'll see an egg shoot by, and then the cats run by. They found the egg, or Jacob found the egg. Saw you guys at Mocha. Uh, and I was so nervous, I speed run the line, and when I walked away, my friend was teasing me because my hands were shaking. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, yeah. Crocheted egg. Crocheted egg that the cats are enjoying. It's a lovely egg. Then we got, um... Also, you're all good. We got these. Yeah, look at these little uh, gooseberry fools. Gooseberry fools. Eh. <laughs> oh my god helldivers 2 dev here what oh my god recently watched our helldivers 2 vod so happy our team will deliver you guys e even an hour of entertainment in exchange to all the hours of entertainment you've given me over the years do oh, you know how so much nice. helldivers we've played we've been playing not just an hour of entertainment me and julia have been playing it like all the time we're level like 27 yeah each which is a lot for us. Which is a lot, a lot for of us. for us to put into a game. Because we have like two a nights a week where we're not doing anything. And we spend it playing Helldivers. So thank you for making a wonderful game. It's very fun. This was my personal favorite. Somebody made a puppet of clean rat and grape eggy. <sighs> A full ass, a full ass puppet of me. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's like so sturdy, too. I'm a sturdy boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like how they rub do the monitor. Rub my tummy, rub my tummy. They look at a monitor while they. Hi. Anyway, we got him chilling back there with the Jacob horse and Appa. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. Gonna need to know what Julia's niece's reaction is to that. Yeah, me too. We're seeing her Sunday. So I'll let you know on Sunday. My whole family's coming over. To celebrate my birthday. <laughs> yeah, we got so many wonderful uh, gifts at Mocha. So thank you everyone who brought something to the British people. I don't know if you're in chat. Who gave us Jaffa Cakes and Earl Grey Tea. Know that I've been having the Earl Grey Tea every morning. And the Jaffa Cakes. Delicious. Delicious. We enjoyed them. Delicious. 
and uh we got so many so much good fan art oh my god yeah and nice little notes and Mm -hmm. all sorts of things oh my god someone drew one of our wedding photos oh yeah i should show that and framed it and was just like the sweetest dude and their partner was like hyping them up and like repping them and they were so sweet Get this chair out of my way. Please look at this. Look at this. Dope drawing. Look at this. There's, it's going to catch glare no matter what I do, but you can tell. You can tell that it's incredible. Isn't that incredible? What? What? Olive just went Ew! in the hallway. <laughs> She's running, that's why. Anyway, yeah, thank you everyone so much for um, ah! coming to see us at Mocha. Did you hit yourself again? I hit my elbow. Okay. Yes. Now that that's all done. I wanted to say their name who did that piece, but I forgot to bring it up. I don't, I, was, know, I don't know their name. I was still thinking about, well, their name's on the back of the, the thing. Oh. They put their business card there. Um, I, uh, I got... I'm so flabbergasted by the Helldivers 2. What's her I'm name? Back. Everett Aldrich. There we go. Everett Aldrich, charcoal artist. Here you go, check this out. Oh, they're in chat. There's the info if you want to check them out and follow them on Instagram. Yes, please do. I'm going to hold this up for a sec so everyone can screenshot it or whatever. Thank you so much again, Everett. This is a... Uh, we've got a spot for it to hang up right in our, mm-hmm. in our bedroom. It's right next to the art that Clara drew me. I'm not going to say which piece is better. But, you know... Some, someone put a little bit more effort into coloring. I thought I want to name names. Uh, we got a sweet message right here. From Alice Stars. Yes. I met you guys at Mocha, but since my dad was there, I wasn't able to say this. As a longtime trans Long Islander Drafty fan, thank you guys so much for doing what you do. I'm so glad I got to see you guys in person. Thank you for being awesome and so supportive always. Thanks for the Eugene Kermit. Ah, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for, for coming and, and being nice. Strong trans Long Islander. I'm going to be honest. I'm curious how Jacob will say this name used to be Kitsune Iris. I always said Kitsune Iris. I don't even know if that was right. This one to me, that's a classic Sovi Voss. It sounds like a 90s energy drink. It does. It's like Sobe energy like drink. Like Sobe. Yeah. Sovi Voss. Sovi Voss. Okay, we got to start playing the game. Yes. Enough of this. But um, thank you, everyone who came to see us. We also, really appreciate it. Also, thank you to everyone who's been uh, complimenting my album. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people saying they've been listening to it and really enjoying it, and that, that means a lot to me. Especially since I've, uh, since releasing it, tried to write more songs and just been met with failure after failure so far. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see when the juice comes back to me. It is on Spotify now, by the way. Oh, good job. So you can listen to it on Spotify. Two Week Vacation by Tummy Boy. That Jacob horse is so funny. So uh, go, go add it to your Spotify playlists. I want the songs to have... Um, not the less than 1,000 listen thing next to them. I want them to have more than 1,000 listen. Eventually, Jacob. It'll come in time. No, I want it now. I'm used to having um, rapid response. <laughs> That's bad. All right, let's play the game. Yeah, please. Oh, they're already at over 1K? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Well, I haven't looked today. You ass. Uh, and thank you everyone who bought it on Bandcamp also. A ton of y'all bought it on Bandcamp, which I really appreciate. Uh, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. I basically right just want to spend this stream like gushing about the people who came to see us at Mocha. Because everyone was so sweet. 
we can't do that. There are there's crimes afoot. That's true. Oh, but we're with the two like the two cops. police officers. I did name this stream. Something about this police officer just hits different. Yeah. Oh, I have to go. I have to go to yeah, the screen. Yeah, you have to go to the game. Manual save, chapter 5, 8.39 p.m. There he is, my dude. There he is. My dude with the posture. Okay, ghosto mode. I'm trying to think of like what, um, if we were gonna recap what happened last stream. Well, we saved, what's her face, many a time. We saved Lynn again. Yeah, and now her like mentor guy is chasing after her, but she's like escaped an assassination. Yes, that's right, she's escaped. And she was gonna meet you, cause you called her in the junkyard, but you died before you could tell her whatever you knew. Yes. And she has no idea what it's about. Correct. And there seems to be something afoot. Yes. And now we're in this, in this police station for some reason. Yeah. Memo let loose. We gotta read. I'm gonna let it loose. How did he sense that? That dude's incredible. Hey, what's this? I don't remember what this guy's voice was. Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head? It's not like you have a ton of duties, after all. He's a little brain power. Ah! What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Mm. Didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. So let's see this important to-do list of yours. Nine o'clock, take prisoners C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Nine o'clock, eh? That's when Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Aw, oh, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay. I got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Do you have a glass of wine? Yeah. Uh, phone. It's Lynn. Hello? Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, detective. I can't do that tonight. Y you can't, but y you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago, asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you could keep this call just between us? Only if only for t even only if only only if even if only if only if even if only if even if even if only if even if only for tonight. Well, I uh. Oh. Well, I've got to go. I'll call you again tomorrow. <laughs> He's so ass out. Yeah, he is. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'd better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. 
What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. <laughs> you mean, you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... Tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for my Lynn, too? Ah, uh, special case, huh? All right, you win. The thing I love about these two cops, other than everything they have going on, mm -hmm. is that I know I can like see into the matrix of the creation of this game. And I know that the character designer drew that hunched over cop and made him a character and then was like, now I need another cop for this room. I guess I'll just do like the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> and then like made him so anti hunch that he looked like this. And then they thought it was so funny and endearing. Yeah. That they put all this extra juice into him. Well, they're like a yin and yang. Like I know that this is how it happened. I can sense it. Like he's super uptight. He's so uptight that he's bent backwards. Yeah. And then that guy's so loose, he's literally bent over forwards. Yeah. It's great. Trick time. Trick time! I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I'd better hurry. But we'll miss out on the cop. I'm Plus sure we'll move. be back. Trick me. Trick me over there. Missed last stream. Are they married? I feel like they are married. I feel like they are married too. You better not be dead. I Lynn swear again. to fucking God. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> okay, if the bird is a character, I'm going to be the bird. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer. It should have been me! <laughs> Damn, dude said a cab to himself. It looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? <laughs> Lynn changed professions, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, excuse me, mister. You talking to me? This room, there aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? Huh? Then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of these cases where the murderer, victor, murderer vanishes into the thin air in a vacuum. <laughs> Just go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir. What a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, eh? These things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murderer with my own eyes. Trick time! Zoop. 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 Ah, oh, beans. <laughs> I died again. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy. Guess I'll just have to find out for myself. Okay. You just go do that. Are you along now? I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay. Looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. 
Let's take it back. Gotta keep preventing this woman from dying over and over again. Like a toddler. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? <laughs> I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that time wasn't ripe. What the hell? The cop was right, she can fit in there. <laughs> so I guess that is how she went down. The ads are about to start. Whee. I'm pausing. We can't miss a thing. I don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to miss a thing. This teensy, teensy tooch. We're about to have three minutes of ads, and during that time, you can all write three minutes worth of compliments. For each other. We got other Joy and Olive. Oh, we should one show of, that one, one too. One of the cats just ran by like We a should cryptid. show that one, too. It was so quiet. They just dashed across the door frame. Um, someone drew Joy and Olive up there. The name is also on the back there. Check this out. is so good they got so much personality yeah that's the most thoughts olive has ever had i'm getting the card out yeah. Yeah. oh my god there's stickers in here too. yeah that was a nice little note okay here we go on Instagram, they're called Fangbanger. <laughs> and they got an Etsy shop called Chris Quiracle. Fangbanger. All of us when go, we played see. Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time. Fang.banger with two R's. And on Etsy, it's Chris Quiracle. So check them out too. Someone, Cathorin Oakenshield got a Helldivers 2 ad. Were you at Mocha? I don't think. I don't think. Dang. I'm still trying to figure out the name of the person who comes like every year. We have met Cathorin Oakenshield we have. before. That's for sure. I that's didn't for think certain. it was this person we saw this year, but I, you know, I'm reaching. If they can't hear you, they got a Hell Divers 2. <laughs> That's very true. You're speaking to no one. Yeah. I like that people are writing nice messages to each other. Yeah, that's like very I sweet. Asked. Kate Dice! Kate Dice, yeah, I called you out earlier this stream. Well, I didn't call you out. <laughs> Kate Dykes was an asshole. You're, you're lovely every single time we meet you. Is Kate Dykes who I'm thinking of? Short hair? Yes. Partner with his glasses? Yes. Okay. That is Kate Dykes. Thank you. Mystery solved. Sorry. My brain was connecting a neuron. A neuron. A neuron. But yeah, it was lovely to see you again. Yes. As always. You're always just very, very nice. So thank you for coming, as always. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being a friend. I like seeing my long horses in chat. And my cowgirl, Emmy. That's right. You told me it was your birthday soon. Happy early birthday. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. March babies. I called you out specifically as well earlier. I don't know if you were here to hear it. Oh, yeah. Jacob did. But I did say that we saw you. Yes. 
and that it was delightful as always. You were very, you were very nice and said very kind things. Yeah. Doing mocha is um, fun for so many reasons, but one of them is that people just uh, come over and are, are sweet and nice and understanding. And it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. Everyone's nice to each other. We had like so many people like holding their phones and figuring out how to like selfie in, and then like the next person will be like, I'll take the picture. And then like everyone has to figure out what to do with their things because they don't want to like automatically assume that they can put it on the table, even though they can. But we appreciate, you know, the consideration. But then like the third person in line's like, I'll hold your stuff. And, then like everyone's just yeah. like coming <laughs> together to to help us photo thing. And then like the kindness chain oh, just like joy. keeps going. It's very sweet. You gonna sit with me, buddy? Can I have these headphones? I just need these headphones. The community truly makes it worthwhile to keep doing these events. So thank you very much. I got a selfie where Karina didn't give me the middle finger this year. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think she was doing like the upside down. Uh, she did. Fingers. She did a few middle fingers too. Oh, did she? <clears throat> yeah, she tries not to do the middle finger if there's a parent around. <laughs> yeah, she, she tries doesn't want to get anyone in trouble. Gauge the situation. Yeah, and then alter uh, depending. Oh, sweet knocks. Sweet knocks. First time chat. You were at Mocha with your partner. Nice. I'm That's sure that it was good to meet you. You took a Snoopy drawing? I didn't do many Snoopy drawings. We can triangulate which one you were. Hi, Joy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, you're on my you're on my headphones. Let me just move this. Okay, you're good. I know, you were trying to not sit on it, but I, I done goofed. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's made me laugh, but Bongo Lands 2 said, should I dink a soda? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you I want I just to. imagine them being like really small and like doing this. I think a soda. And being like, should I think a soda? If you want to. If it has caffeine in it and you have to go to bed soon, maybe don't. But you know. I'm not your parents. All right, let's get back to it. Do whatever you think is best for you. Dink that soda pap. I agree, Kaz. Yeah. Let me dink a soda pap. Okay, here we go. Gaming. Oh, you were the barista sim person. That's awesome. It's the person who got into our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hung up. Yikes. I turned... I, I did that to him. Yeah, you did. I closed that kettle and caused his ass to get steamed. You steamed his butt. Is Lynn supposed to look like a rooster? What is she supposed to look like? She definitely does look like a rooster. I wonder if she's also like April O'Neil inspired. Oh. Uh -huh. What the what hell? In the... What is this contraption? The Rube Goldberg machine of death. <laughs> the fuck? And then she's just like, let she's me just, just stand standing there here. like, huh? What the hell, girl? Why did you Hit stand the deck. there? That's the truth behind our locked room murder? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, they'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. I can do it. I'm gonna become a ghost. Look at your big eyes. And I'm gonna do a trick. Look at your big eyes. You know what, Cecil? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murderer is mechanical. She has a point, and I can't manipulate living creatures. 
but I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. It looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this device. Hello! Oh, we can go to his little lantern. I oh, think yeah. I needed to go to it sooner. His name is not Cecil, it's Cecil. It's Cecil, yeah. I keep saying Cecil because I want it to be Cecil. It's not, it's got two S's. Yeah. Classic Cecil. Sorry. Take me back. I don't goofed it. Me, pronounce a name wrong? Cecil, Cecil, Susicle. Okay, so I can't quite make it to the lantern from here. So I do have to wait a bit. Blue Raz McChicken says I started watching Haikyuu because of you and it's amazing. It is amazing. It's the best. I was literally just the other day. Um, I was talking to Doig in India. And India had posted like a emote that she made. And, um, and by India, I mean Swifty. I don't know why it's always in my mind Doig and India. Mm. Instead of Doig and Swifty. Right. Because I don't call Doig by his, like, real name. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I think anyway. it's because Ansta did it. <laughs> and I just follow what Ansta does. In any case, Swifty was showing a, like, um, emote she had made. And one of them is, like, the specific crying animation from Haikyuu where the tears go, like, Poof. Yeah. And I and recognized it immediately and posted the gif of that, uh of that thing from Haikyuu and then she immediately started freaking out that I was a Haikyuu fan and we just like for like an hour just like frantically typed how much we liked Haikyuu and yeah in discord it was a it was a good interaction I'm gonna ghost you oh <sighs> can't do it okay so I have to wait a bit yeah until he gets me somewhere else I think you have to go up and over. I think I have to go like around that way. Well, remember you could get to the fan through the top floor. There's a phone here. I could like dial up to the top floor, I guess. Or can I? I, I guess I so, can't because I'm in I'm in history. Yeah. Maybe I just stay in here for now. I think so. I thought he was going to take it with him. But I can at least be in the phone here when the call comes in. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped spaces. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. Get to the back of the oven, sweetie. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. Totally. Time is passing. Oh, can you go up now? Yeah. Go there. Go there. He hung up. Now I can do some, uh, some downwards tricking. I can close this so I can steam his ass. Well, you closed it to oh, alert that him. makes it whistle, and then he lowers me. I love this drawing. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this one is Poor so guy. Julia Corr. Yeah, it is. Lynn ran away, the detectives yelled at me, the old pigeon man ignored me, and then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. 
We were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would you have preferred getting scalded by the steam? Well, at least his fate was changed a bit. That's good anyway. Fate changed! <laughs> this cop's ass. Now we go down. Yep. Okay. So I guess I have, I'm gonna have to wait yeah. for it to like come up. And then I'm gonna have to like move with haste and speed. Mm-hmm. Well, cause this should spin. Right? Yeah. Unless there's something you can do with the motor now that it's on. Can you do something with the motor? No, okay. it's untrickable. Untrickable. But the ball, the ball fall. And there's a toolbox, a hoist. Move. Let's move the hoist. Uh -oh. Now. Uh -oh. Now, of course, we open the toolbox. Okay, bowling ball. Other ball. Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if we were on a putting green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it to some use here. Good thinking. I might be able to use this trick somehow. If I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're out of time this round. No. No. I thought she would like see the ball, bend down to pick it up, and then the shot would go over her. I thought so too. Oh, beans. beans. Take me back. Joey, what are you looking at? The key to this murder machine. Is that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow. If only we could get that ball to fly over and hit him. Yes, maybe that would stop our little Mr. Cupid. Guess I better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. Take me back. Lynn isn't smart. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Lynn. Down. Oh, that's right. They time stamped us. Oh, thank God. Down. <laughs> then we wait. I think I can go from ball to somewhere else, maybe. Mm. If I hit it right. Like if I go... Can I go like over here? Is that thing moving? Oh. Here we go. There you go. Ball to toy cake. Well... Oh? To door. I can open door, make ramp. Oh, ho, ho, unless it opens down. Oh! Then boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Bazinga. Oh, too oh, soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. You were too quick. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Too quick to Bazinga. But good idea. We got it this time. What's up, sweetie? Boom, boom. Open. Trick. 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 Okay. Wait. Yeah. Wait. 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 Up. Oh. Smackaroonie. Oh! Yeah! Happy birthday! She's like, what the hell? What just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased. Again. I, uh... Thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit anyway. Fate averted! What could this room be all about? Hmm, I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end, those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. Party poppers, the gun going off, it somehow seems familiar. 
I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? Sissel, are you there? Lynn is talking to me? I just notice her hair part yeah. switches when Blip. she turns her head. But if you're there, could you say something? If you're not there. I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. Trick time! Zap right into your freaking brain. Sup, Lynn? You are here! I knew it! I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There! That tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case. And I'm doing it alone. A murder case? All by yourself? Yes. Well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case. Something, some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. I'm a ghost, you can tell me anything. Yeah, who are we gonna tell? God. <laughs> Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. About the one who shot me. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you after all. I'm afraid... My memory just isn't clear on that part. How convenient. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Julia just started season two of Dungeons and Daddies, and I just finished the Elise episode. But the we, we both have um, <laughs> Anthony's "Well, well, well" stuck in our head. Well, well, when he's, well. When he's playing twelve soccer bullies. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It's a bit that makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> Not clear. I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit? I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what info I had for her. About the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla all right? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh, my. What in the world was going on? Why would anyone want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization, the Blue Man Group. <laughs> what? The 90s pop sensation Blue Man Group? <laughs> I saw them, the people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? 
It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? No, I'm gonna die so many times, huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. The fuck? <sighs> yes, you saved my life tonight. Three times now. I'm completely grateful for that. But I'm like grateful in the way where I don't want to do literally anything in return. <laughs> Not a single thing, no matter how small. I can't break the rules, even if you are dead. <laughs> but as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. About the information. Cecil, what you have to understand is that I'm stupid. <laughs> So I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly, tonight, at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know? But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. No! How could you? Blong bling, blong bling, blong bling. So what are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah, what was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Chicken kitchen. What about you, Sissel? I keep wanting to say Cecil. What about you, Sissel? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead, if you leave. I just realized. You and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea. You're on. That's literally cooperating. <laughs> but it's phrased different. That's just a different phrasing for cooperating in this case. She's taken so many bullets to presumably the face, Jacob. <laughs> she has brain damage. <laughs> All right, we won't cooperate. How about if instead we just work together? Her neurons aren't connecting. What if we just work together to achieve our goals instead of cooperating? But can I ask you to do me a favor first for me? <laughs> can I? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from, the office upstairs. I want you to go find a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Mm. Wow. Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on the small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. Sissel, I don't want you to break the rules, but I do want you to uh, break and enter this prison. <laughs> I want you to do things that are illegal for me. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. You just said we weren't going to cooperate. We're not cooperating. <laughs> okay, you're on. Okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again if you can help it. 
I thought we were in her brain. Yeah, where am I? Are we still in her brain? I think so. Okay. But as if we just don't leave her brain. It looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating, and she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I'd better get to the prison. Ace of Space said, uh, love how we have a dead guy who can't remember shit, but is smart, and a girl who can't stay alive can remember things, but is stupid as shit. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, Good that's summary. about where we're at at this point. Yeah. Lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task, to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. The only task on your list for tomorrow is die. Is being dead. Ascend. Oh. Scoop. Squeaky. Just uh, get me over here if you don't mind and then I'll scoobity doop my way over to the phone. <laughs> it's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookends blue and green, yelled at me. Mm, forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Y yes, sir? Your bright as the sun, Lynn, probably doesn't even know you exist. Damn. And those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Damn, dude. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? <laughs> All right, we got to go not to the chicken kitchen, to the uniform men's office. Mm-hmm. throwing up right outside the door. Olive is throwing up right outside the door. She threw up two candles. So, I have the preparations coming along. I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was just me being sarcastic. Just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. New memo on the wall? New memo just dropped? The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. That's perfect. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Trick time! <laughs> Every time. Memo. Mimo. Moon oh. Mooniter. Let's examine this. The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these little rooms are. You mean prison cells? Why are you calling them little rooms? Dude's trying to steal my den bit. Little small private <laughs> yeah, rooms. small private rooms. Hey, Bailey. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. 
You going? Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C38, eh? What would that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret what? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of the concert, there was a huge incident. Huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. Uh, how's that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Seamy secrets! Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything! Some complicated lyrics. Yeah. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C38 himself? I got Maybe distracted. they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. <laughs> ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Zoop, zoop. Let fly the memos of war. Hey, Bailey. Try putting up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection, prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I'd better prepare. Prisoner C74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double! Korean rice? That's it? To be fair, there's not a lot I wouldn't do for <laughs> a few servings of curry and rice. Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office <laughs> with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. All right, well, now it's no longer like me. Yeah. This is where we differ. The curry could not be too spicy for me. Yeah. Huh? It was too spicy, and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't even make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armored guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Huh. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Just what I see is like a bunch of beer cans under his desk. And a wine bottle. New He's memo. got a drinking problem. New memo just dropped. Whee! He 
Hey, Bailey. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoners. Nine... D99. Now we're talking. Sorry? The chef is preparing it for him right now. Ooh, how fancy. D99, eh? You and I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. Shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive? Everything. All a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently... This case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of this makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison, built just for these kinds of special cases. That D-99, who knows what he's thinking, or hiding, behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D-99, was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? It's time. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god! <laughs> Forgot about this guy. Let's go! This is my guy! He's making a house of cards with wine on top. There, it's done. This is dangerous, man. Shouldn't be doing shit Trick like time. this. Hello? Oh, God. Everyone's saying definitely a Jacob. Hey, Bailey. Can you go from here? Oh. Do you quit sending these memos? Oh, that's over probably here? what I have to do, right? Yeah. No. Huh? Not until I figure out how you always know the exact instant a memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery. <laughs> Our neighbors are going to call the cops. <laughs> Next time! I will find the answer next time! I guess it's time to try and find a new path. Alright, we know what we and must do. And by new path, we mean the same The same path, path again. Swoop. Swoop. Swish, swish, swish. Hey, Bailey. Trick. Then we zoop. Emergency switch. We we did all this. Old news. I'm not screaming again. I'm not finding. I'm, I'm on the path. I'm on the path. Operate so the switch. Sh shut up. Oh my god. Arg. There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It wasn't me. Don't lie. You know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergency. Oh, yeah, sure. Way back when I first got this job. I've had enough of that. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Urgh. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. 
Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Well, close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. All right. Now I can do a little... Do a little get in the bazooka. Do a little shoot a bazooka. Do a little goblet. Do a little... Can I get to that middle monitor? No. Do a little go in here mode. Do a little button, button, be a button. You press the button. You open the door, you go to it quick. Beautiful. Why is this prisoner allowed to have a guitar? You go to the guitar. You examine the guitar. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for this spiky haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what people express in their music. Something primitive like that, I bet. I do express myself when I'm hungry with, Give me pizza! P-I-Z-Z-A! Alright, C-3-8, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about give me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. <laughs> now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, my own music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he would be the most annoying. Diggy diggy, diggy diggy, diggy diggy. <laughs> There's the big guy. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that information? He's got a basketball hoop in here, he's got a full drum set. Yeah, Jacob would be pretty set in here. Damn! Don't think I could take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like the god man is gone. Hi, Joy. You back? All this waiting is wiping me out. Hopefully this one will finally do it. Go, go, go! Hey, sweetie. Come on, sausage head. Trick time. Trick time. Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. In blank. Drums. Let's play the drums. Kind of sounds like you're punching it. Bonk. Okay, okay. There's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. There's a red zero drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. You don't recall what a circle means? Are you okay? He doesn't remember things. But that's like, <laughs> it's a very strange and specific thing to not remember. He can like read full notes and fully understand like letters. Right. But doesn't know what a circle is. So this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Hopefully there's no circles on it. I can't read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. There's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! Jacob, you're always playing characters that can't read! I thought he I thought he's read before. Is he not read? 
He absolutely cannot read. I feel like he's read before. Am I crazy? Has he never read? I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? Didn't I like go in like a book or something at some point? And he was like, I can see what the fucking book says. It's a foreign language, he said. He said that it all looked foreign to him. But he said, I can't read. Didn't he go in like a note or something and read it at some point? Am I crazy? I don't know, you could be right. What are you looking at, Joy Cat? Looking at the wingy wingy, 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 wingy. What are you doing? Hit the turlet. <laughs> what are you attacking? That's your tail. Oh my god. This telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones than the building that I've already possessed. Okay. It's like a little wood peg in Jacob's desk and Joy has decided it is her enemy. Joy is playing with the desk. Emergency! Hmm, an emergency button. An emergency in a prison? That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Here he comes with his proper walk. Can I like get on? Oh, they might call using that phone. So true. You gonna use this phone? You gonna use this phone? <laughs> Did I make that up? I mean, I can use this phone to go to the guard room. Oh yeah, but that I doesn't can't, really help us. I can't use right? it to go down. Okay. Well, I bet once the guards are gone, I can go back in the piece of paper and he'll chuck me in the turlet. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll go right here and we'll wait. We'll bide our time. Do 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 do. All clear. Chuck me in the turlet. Yes, chuck Whee! me in the turlet. Why is the water tank of that toilet so big? Go go go! Oh. What the hell? Dude gets a notification every time Oh my god! Goes, what? <laughs> Why do you look like that? Is this the curry man? This is the curry man! Why do you look like that? You need to tell me right now why you look why like that. Why do you have a penis head? Oh, they're working on like a plot. Uh -huh. So the circle means it's all clear. And then he crawls through his little toilet hole. By the looks of him, that must be the curry lover from the police department <laughs> siege case. But never mind that, where did he go? The curry lover. What's going on in this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. Just to be safe, maybe I'd better check the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow, too. You can't, you can't read! read. Motherfucker. The bell. The board. I mean, we can try. I still can't read. But I better go check out Prisoner D99 cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Len out. Besides, 
I want to see what this prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. Alright, so, so we, we gotta ring him back out. Yeah. Dingling his ass back out of the turlet. Oh, do you have to like quickly Yeah. And then we walk get on his spoon. spoon that he Perfect. throws over here. And then I may move over yonder. What is his machine? Is it like... I don't know what the machine is. <laughs> a sleep apnea thing? Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Yeah, I got it. I'm smart. Oh ho ho, the bearded painter. Hmm. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it. He seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guards said. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Everyone is saying it's Nathan. <laughs> An artist with a beard. What in the world really happened? And why is Len so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Trick time! Trick time! What? Hello! I already have your sister! Open the frame. Photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Damn. Did he do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. So true. Newspaper article. Let's not read this as well. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case. Man murders wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. To the light, to the board. So the work schedule for tomorrow of prisoner D99. The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. <laughs> Jacob's stuck in another mystery <laughs> where he can't freaking read. I hate this, but here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung here. Hung here. <laughs> here. Here. <laughs> hung here. So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is nothing. Is he gonna be executed? Yeah, that's not great. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Trick time! Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read even if one can't read. Just go ahead and screenshot that sentence. Ponder on it for a while. <laughs> Make it your desktop background. It's really a lot to lot to parse with that one. Some things in this world can be read even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I'd better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Scooby? Dooby? Scooby Doo? Oh, sorry, Joy. Scooby Dooby Doo? Scooby Dib Dibby Do Scooby Dooby Dibby Do D99 Dinner It's a whole chicken. Player one. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. 
It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. Give me nothing. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now. But just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. What were you painting there, bud? Damn, cool painting, bro. Were you painting green? There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is that man in the painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. I'm gonna wait here, because we're about to have ads. And it's a big reveal. And it seems like a big reveal, so we're gonna wait until the ads are done to find out who it is. Guys, I have Joy Cat. There's a Joy Cat sitting in the lap. We'd like to go and pet her, but we think she'll give a crap. She didn't give a crap. No. I was care. wrong. I was wrong about that. Everybody on the edge of your seat? You don't need to pay for the whole seat when you only, the only part of it you need to uh, have to use is the edge of it. Nice jail costume. Come on. <laughs> it does look like a jail costume. No. Guys, I went to a bakery the other day with the shirt on unintentionally. It was a, a bakery uh, that is specific to Northern France. And I walked in and I wore the shirt and the lady behind the counter was wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Everybody in that place wears that shirt. And that lady tried, she like was, she had kind of like a clunky sentence in English and I responded like, come on, in French. And she was like, oh, thank God you're French. <laughs> Let's talk. I was like, okay. We had a nice conversation. That lady was lovely. Lovely lady. Lovely lady. Lumps. Yes? Why are you looking at me? You don't have to bite the cable. I know you're thinking about it. It's another sound bite I've had in my head is Northern Lion saying, my oh hunch. My God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my hunch, my lovely lady lunch. <laughs> and now that I've said it, you're going to be thinking my lovely lady lunch for the rest of the week. I want to talk about, so my success that I'm having in Bloodborne and the feeling that I've been having as I play Bloodborne, which is I found my game. I think I've just like hit a good groove with Bloodborne. Like I think, I think something just clicks in my brain for that game. Having the opposite experience with Bellatro. <laughs> it's not Julia's game. I've played about 25 rounds of that damn thing, and I haven't beaten a single freaking eight ante. I get to seven. Seven's the most I've gotten to, and then I just lose. Meanwhile, I've just been racking up wins, baby. Win after win. Let them roll. Let the good times roll. Seven wins, eight wins, nine wins, ten wins. I'm so bad at that freaking game. Did someone just say that I'm not French? I didn't see someone say that. It'd be a weird thing to say considering you are French. What are the silliest SSS slash Giraffe quotes you'd like to see as pretentious typography dioramas? <laughs> God, I don't know. There's so many. Yeah. I, I've been really enjoying just dodge and hit. I think that one's been funny. I was thinking about doing a uh, Bellatro stream, but then I realized how bad the backseating would be and I decided not to do it. But it is an excellent game. 
It's really good. So highly recommend playing it if you like roguelikes. <laughs> Someone suggested and, and then you scoop it. And then you scoop it? And, <laughs> and, and then you scoop it? What about uh, um, you could do just <laughs> prosciut myself in the freaking head? <laughs> <laughs> just scoop it. <laughs> scoop it! <laughs> that whole playthrough... I had a headache and I had to go to bed. Please look at Olive. Wow, she <laughs> looks so noble. Why is she sitting like this? She looks like she's on Pride Rock over there. <laughs> she She's frozen. She's uh. like backlit by the lamp. <laughs> I'm Liz. What are you doing? He's coming. Hi, sweetie. Oh, sorry, Joy. Joy just looked at me like, you had to, huh? Here, go over there. All right, let's get this reveal. There you go. Why must I be so clippable? All right. Olive, you got to take this seriously. It's a big reveal, okay? It's a big reveal. Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Oh! 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 Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay. Sure. Sorry to bother you. Why'd you paint Lupin the Third? <laughs> Why'd you paint? <laughs> is this fan art? Why'd you paint Lupin the Third meets Mac tonight? Meets uh, the the microphone hero from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Don't attack your sister. She's got bad knees. You know this. Just like her mother. Me. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lynn, fast. And not for her sake, for mine. To solve this mystery of me. Thank you for the raid. Flamingo, Flamingo Raider. Raider? Appropriate name. Wow, look at him eat! For one who raids. Damn, get in! He's going off! Tuck in. Tuck in! Get stuck in! Get stuffed. Wait, no. Get stuffed up, as they say <laughs> in the UK. Get stuffed up. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> so many people in the chat just saying, excuse me? <laughs> Nobody says that. No, they say that over there no, across the pond. Yeah, we know. They're like, stuff me up! <laughs> stuff me up, boyo! <laughs> stuff me up, boyo! <laughs> it's one of the things they say. Oh, and then in Australia, instead of saying that, they say, stuff me up, mate! Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fill me to the brim! Uh, I've got questions I want to ask Lynn. Okay. I've got to get to a place that has an external line and fast. Yeah, I'm literally doing that. Diddly-lily. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was Professor oh, Layton ass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, and one more thing. Dr. Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Hey! <laughs> he has... Freaking Crocs! <laughs> and they're not on his feet! His toes are out! He's got toeless Crocs. 
Evening, Cabanella here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby? Ew. Why is everyone talking about Lynn like this? Because they're a bunch of fuckos. We have two female... We have three female characters in this game. Can we not? From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. I guess we have four, kind of. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fella. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. He I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. He kind of has the same hair as, uh, what's her face? As Lynn, just like the opposite. That's true. Kind of the rooster. Mean. Yeah. The rooster pooster. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on then. I might pop in a little later. I might get stuffed up a little bit. I might later. get stuffed up. Get tucked in. Get tucked in. <laughs> Tuck me in. <laughs> I'm going Betty I'm Bye. I'm going Betty Bye. <laughs> Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Gonna do a little honk shooing tonight. <laughs> Stop. Pew. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now. That white-suited inspector suspects Lynn. And she's being considered a fugitive. This is not good. Wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white too. Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her too. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella? What would the ins special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and Prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd, good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's the head of Special Investigation. He's a very busy man. <laughs> What's wrong? Jowd was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me. Rotten away in a place like this. I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? This new sight of you is kind of endearing. <laughs> anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know? Uh... It's good mentality to have. Just fix what you can little by little. External line. Take me to this new spot. Can't get over how caked out that one cop is. You don't need to get over it. The feet! <laughs> Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Caminella? This dude's got, uh, those, like, eyes on the sides of his head, like, a uh, like a lizard. <laughs> he can, he looks out, like, it both directions at once. Yeah. He's got prey eyes, not predator eyes. Yeah, he can't see anything in front of him. We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The junkyard murder. She did it, eh? No questions about it. She's a bad little baby, <laughs> don't... You can't say that. Like, you gotta go to HR. You gotta we go straight to HR. Four women in this game. Two of them are literally children. One of them 
is your colleague and the other one's a busty woman who's writing about the freaking prime minister. All right, she's powerful though. She's great. But we have to give some respect. <laughs> We're getting the super knot in the chat. <laughs> the angry Luigi just staring. <laughs> This is the perfect use for super knot. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We are not nutting today. Oh. Maybe later we'll nut. He calls everyone baby? Not everyone bad little baby. Not everyone bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. You didn't do it. Trick time. You ass. I ate. How much he's moving his stupid love. This guy is a guy who wears flip flops when it, there's a blizzard outside, you know? Yeah. And he got those little sidewalk puddles and he's still wearing flip flops. Yeah. I just don't believe it. Why would you do a thing like that? Afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. That's a security camera taped to the investigation unit just delivered. And can't deny... some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence? Nothing like it, baby. <laughs> Why a murder case now, on such an important night? Tisk tisk. I think you have that wrong, Chief. I know the a murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Scoop! Scooby doop! Raise the antenna! What are we thinking about? Before I go find Lynn at the chicken kitchen, it sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? Weep. Keeps then we, his toes. we scooby over here. Don't look at his toes. This is how my ex used to study for things. Toes, toes out, out, but like one foot up by his knee and just like constantly wiggling. Toes out, toes wiggling. Ugh. Listen, his t in his defense, his toes are under his desk. No one's supposed to be able to see them. We have an angle that is that is not of this world. Ugh. Lower the screen. They're not perturbed by this. Nope. Hit the remote. The junkyard where I died had a security camera and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Doing a cool guy lean. He probably said, what are you going to do? Shoot me. You missed. Oh, you hit. You hit it. You missed it and then you hit it. This footage is doctored. I saw myself shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me though. Lynn looks so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her?
I do like that his top half is completely motionless. Yeah. And his bottom half is like wiggling all over the place. He's like a duck. To tell you the truth. <clears throat> the truth is the truth. No matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanella. There's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. And a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, he's right. That is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. <laughs> of course, a cat came out of a toolbox. That we were holding. So the cat, we had a cat with us. Is that a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. This is Point X. Come in, Chief. The Chief here. Did he show up? Oh, uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective, get my baby away from point X. Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. Yes, sir, I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at point X? It took the special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. Whoa! What happened? Detective, come in. Now what? What happened this time? Damn it! <laughs> wheelie, 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 wheelie. You don't know, but I'm doing. That's what I'm doing underneath the desk every time you watch me stream. <laughs> just constantly. I got my feet and legs just going crazy down here. You can't even tell. Nonstop. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. Trick time. Trick time! Scooby dooby dooby. Do. What are you doing? Get your buns over here! What did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like. For a poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries are delayed. Excuse me? But this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen there you need assistance with? Something happened here, you asked. More like, there's nothing left here. I got to go! Wait, wait! Holy shit, I'm almost dead. What's going on? 
Something, that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. So true. Okay. Something is far from nothing. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You're going to point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector. Your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility and I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. He's grooving out. Joy, you're so cute. Prisoner D99's schedule for tomorrow was blank. Seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, the point X the police have surrounded and the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? The Chickum Kitchum. Got a new song, Saving the Data. Saving the Data. We got about 10 more men's. Ish. Oh yeah. Eight more men's. I just can't get the images I saw at the police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I want to believe did it. Now I'm here at the place and she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out as Point X. But when I got here, I found the place in ruins. That girl's on roller skates. Why is that chicken so big? Whoa, what in the world happened here? Trick time! Oh, the heavens! What did do I do? If I had known that something like this would have happened, I would have paid the poor child more! I would have cooked more chicken for her! I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she had her fill! Actually, uh, about the singing... She did, uh, tell me she had uh, her fill a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. <laughs> What's under his hat? Why is there a nub under his hat? Or is it just his hat? No, there's a yellow part that's part of his head. Oh my the god, hat's you're blue. right. Why is his head that tall? Why has he got a head penis? Lynn! Look at me! I'm dead! What took you so long? Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. I have to be tough, you know. Well, and how'd it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I actually have a few things I want to ask you about too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all. We right? gotta stop using this terminology. <laughs> okay, let's swap info then. My moitere. On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. No way. You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? 
It, it wasn't me. I didn't shoot you. If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? B because I told you before, you were supposed to give me some information. Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? Why she shot me? Hey, why she shot me? You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard that information, right? I agree. That wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know. You gotta believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all. You got the information you wanted from me and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No, no, I didn't shoot you. Please tell me. What did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Get a load of this. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? B blank? Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work. And that's because he's going to be executed. Executed? Okay, done. Do you know what prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never. Detective Jowd would never do anything like that. And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case, prisoner wants it. There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his schedule tomorrow is blank, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner D99, Detective Jowd, he must be connected to me in some way too. Or at least he thinks I'm cute. <sighs> After all, he obviously knows me. The police were staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Because of you. Uh, well, like nope, 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 <laughs> incorrect. Me? Huh? Do you remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember. That note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and time written on it. The chicken kitchen. 10 o'clock. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. 
It was the only lead I had left. Sorry, Joy. And this here is point X, so that must mean the mark the police were waiting for was me? So, what are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled all the mysteries of me? Mysteries of me. What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you, that's what. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And I'd like to know who those guys are too. I want answers and I'm going to find them. But to do that, I'm going to need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you. Not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry either. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> but I'll help... <laughs> but I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now I think it's time to go back to the past. Like Samurai Jack. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. Uh. We'll rewind time and that's where we'll call it. After we watch this death. No, we'll wait to watch. I have to, I have to watch the death. Okay. The note said, the chicken kitchen, 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy haired man was going to meet here. We know who that pointy haired man is. What's this? <laughs> yeah, she's skating. Oh my god, who is she? Who are they? Oh my god, there are other assassins because they're blue. Here you go. She's hot? Oh my god. Scroll back up, please. Tell me more. Where's my chicken? <laughs> hmm. Can I eat that thing? So she saved the skater girl, did a back handspring, and then got crushed to death by a big piece of chicken. That's great. You're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Still can't save. Leave me alone. Can I help it if I got tired of dying in the usual ways? But I'll say this. It was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you save somebody else before dying yourself? Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? The next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make another of that next time. But anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it. You know, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. We're going back! In time! Trick time! Now we can save. So we'll stop here and next week we will, uh, we will save Lynn from a large chicken. See this cat? You see this cat? She keeps putting her paw here so she can put her head on her arm. She's so cute. She's so cute. She is so cute. She's a little sweetie. Oh! We keep having to give her medicine every night for her little paw, and she doesn't care at all. She doesn't want it to happen, but then once she's caught, she's like, all right. That's all right. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, she's a really good cat. Um, Patreon bonus stream is this Friday. True. Sorry for the late announcement, y'all. A lot of things were going on. 
Uh, that'll be at the usual time of 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Karina's also doing a critique stream, so if you have a piece you want her to critique, please put that in the draw class exclusive chat that only appears once you're in that draw class tier. And that'll be next Friday. That'll be, yeah, next Friday. And then Sunday, we'll be back with more Julia Bloodborne. Blah, 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 blah. And then on Monday, we'll be back with a regular Drawfee stream. All of this is true. Yeah. And that's it. That's yeah. it for us tonight. Thanks for hanging with us. Jacob's going to read subs. I'm going to read subs. And okay. then... Um, Thanks again to all the people who are in chat that we saw at Mocha. Y'all were the nicest. And we appreciate you, of course. Um, thank you all very much. You made our weekend so nice. Absolutely. Now let's read some subs, why don't we? Okay. Hi, Olive. We got subs from the letter S, ArcV2, Draconia, Kokao MN, Ketchalate, the Argent Alpaca, Cynic G, Kaz, thank you, Kaz, for thank the gifted you, sub. Kaz gifted us up to Draz. Oh. Kaz to Draz communication. Good, excellent. Welcome to Flavortown, Lightning Leonin, Manliest Princess, Tigerus Lilifus, It Me Nanners, Blue Raz McChicken, Caskets, Quiche Cow, Kai Theron, Cab Dash Soul, Anonymous Gifter, Lady Tasty Face, Mother Muchy, Slug Punk, Warlock Vibes, Open 247, Sweet Knox, Kit Squibbles, Draws with Paws, Gifted Five Subs. Thank you so much. Sarah Bear Baby. Adventurines it ad, ad, event Adventurins Booba Window oh. Shadow Madden Foxhole Monster Oh that reminds me there was one person who came to our table at the convention and they were wearing a shirt with a boob window Yeah that literally had curtains so that they could close the curtains on the boob window. It was literally a four it had pane like a window, window. Pane and like little curtains and they could close the curtains. It was really funny. Yeah, it was good. Uh, Shadow Madden, Foxhole Monster, Link Pearls, Zombie Dollar Slice, Pyropia123, Cat on a Wall, Sovi Voss, Sovi Voss. Sovi Voss. Veil Hella, Cryptid Space, Squids Anonymous, Rando79, I Am Ja, Sonara, Rug Fern, Damn Sam I Am, Abby2489, Thomas the Turbo Brick, Squishy June Bug, Original Dice Mom, Victoria Von Monocle, The Sound of Birds, gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Pretty Ghost Boy, Rachel in the Library, Baxter Graves, Moth Pixie. With Syrup, Focaccia Cat, Corbett, Twisted Cobalt, Sarah Safi, Black Boo 22, Penny Dreadful, Ken's Pets Dogs, 12 Cats in a Dressing Gown, Revocador, Wagon Full of Pancakes, Tiny Dragon on Fire, I'm M93, Icky Neko, Room Full of Twinks, NY Cowgirl Emmy, Zyberwalk, Peachy PG, Professor Rad gave out five gifted subs. Thank you, Professor Rad. Ancient Arachnid, Chemicult. Hey, it's Casey, Baby Dragon Age, Art Cat 2, Still Art in the Nerdy Farmer, Chaos Dragon MN, Cardboard Spaceship, Blue Woo Boy, Johnny Guitar, Colin Melia, Non Binary Moss Man, Kate May Art, Cosmo Asis, Anonymous Gifter, Trans Dragon Lycantos, Luna Baby 218, Ella Bale, Crypt Slug, Fancy Fin 99, Frog House, Anonymous Gifter, Super Bedwards, Nika Bear, Detective Root Firmly, Bear Barrier, the Futbucker, Candy Bat, Anonymous Gifter, Madeleu, Cookbook for Stars, Alicia for Ferris One, Jokage, Audible523, Hazel Cat, Sketchy Wyver, and a Bagel145, Anonymous Gifter, Transrite Sylveon, Storm and Ozone, Toasted Toasters, Winter Solstice 12, Short Stack 37, Professor Rad, Tulo Ken, Sovivos, Allegretto, I am Hydrogen, Derek's 1224, Indy Kilbride, back to the top. Queer Kid Sid, Rad Pair, Aralana 765, the letter S, Arc V2. Okay, I think that's everyone. That's it. Thank you, everyone. 
for all the subs and the gifts. We really appreciate it. All the support as always. And um, we will be back on Sunday. And we'll see you all then. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye.